Hey, what's going on? This is AJ. I know you're really busy. I don't want to take a lot of your time, but I want to give you a really powerful insight today. And it may be something you know about, but you've never really thought about it to this extent. And it's about us having two minds, two minds operating 24 seven. That is our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. And what is really fascinating is that our conscious mind is right now paying attention to me, talking, speaking, but there's a whole nother layer that is being observed of everything around you. And it's making sense of the world as I speak, and that's your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is a driver of all your behaviors, your emotions, your feelings, and usually it uh, controls a lot of your just physical external life. And what is fascinating by it is kind of looking at it like an analogy. So imagine your conscious mind is a person, you know, a human being. Imagine your subconscious mind is like an elephant, okay? That's how powerful your subconscious mind is. It's pretty much like a person riding an elephant, okay? Now, elephants are known to be the most trained and behaviorally, uh, you know, inclined animal. Uh, a lot of times they're just wild, they go as they please, but it takes a really strong human to get an elephant to go where it wants to go and get it to do what it wants to do. And that's like your subconscious mind and your goal is to train your subconscious mind to get what you want out of life. Now in my book, The Mind Body Solution, I really go into a lot of really good exercises based on scientific proof to control your subconscious mind. Now why do you want to control your subconscious mind? Because that is the part of your brain that really just focuses on getting the things you want out of life, okay? So let's talk about diet and fitness as an analogy. Let's say for example, I have a hard time sticking to a diet program. You know, I stay two, three days and I pig out and I cheat. Or like I just hate healthy food. I love pizza and ice cream all the time. And I just can't seem to lose weight. So you know, the conscious mind could say, oh man, I can't stick to a diet. I'm not made for this. I love food too much. I have no discipline. Every type of limiting belief and excuse. And the subconscious mind, what that does, it starts to believe it, okay? So when you say it with your conscious mind, it goes out into your subconscious mind and it creates a new belief. And that belief becomes so strong that it forces you to do unconscious actions that you'll never stick to the diet, you'll end up gaining more weight. So think of it like an iceberg, okay? So the tip of the iceberg is your conscious mind and the subconscious is the mass underneath, okay? It's so powerful and it's really the driver of all your actions and emotions. So inside my book, I share a few great tips on changing your subconscious mind so we could help your conscience life and help lead you in the right direction, take the right actions. So let's go back to my example. Let's say for example, if um, I want to eat better and I want to increase my discipline, okay? Well, here's a fact. Your subconscious mind is the strongest first thing in the morning and right before bed. So if you want to change your beliefs, what you want to do is feed your subconscious mind new insights, new affirmations, and even visualize with it because the strongest way to change a belief is to change your emotions, to get like an emotional reason involved because your, sub your subconscious, you know, that, that big old elephant, it responds really well to emotional self-talk. So here I go. I'm eating Oreos, I'm eating ice cream, I'm eating hot dogs, hamburgers, and I want to start eating broccoli and chicken and healthier foods because I know one, I'm gonna lose weight. Second of all, I'm gonna feel a lot better about myself. So what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna give myself one week, just one simple week, and I'm gonna feed my subconscious mind positive beliefs. It's gonna start to change my actions, start to change my emotions. So here's what I do. Like I said, subconscious mind is the most receptive right when you wake up and right before bed. So I'm gonna make a goal. So right when I wake up, I'm gonna do three things. First and foremost, I'm gonna say an affirmation in the present state out loud, okay? So I eat healthy, I enjoy healthy food, and I love the way eating clean food makes me feel, okay? So saying an affirmation in the present tense starts to seep into the subconscious. Second thing I do is I visualize. So I visualize myself eating a delicious, 
grilled chicken salad and I get all my emotions involved, you know, like how does that salad taste? Is it, you know, a little bit sour? Is it, you know, I could taste the, the, the dressing in there. I could, you feel the, the, the lettuce and all the different elements on it. And I imagine myself being in a beautiful background and visualizing really deep, you know, the power of visualization is not just daydreaming something, but getting all of your emotions involved in it, all of your sense factors, you know, sights, sounds, smells, taste, you know, the whole nine yards. So that's what you really want to do because that really gets deep into your subconscious mind and starts changing your behavior. And the third thing that you want to do is to write it down, okay, because there is a lot of proof that writing down a belief you know, getting it out of your mind, you know, even by talking, like I said, that's one way to do it, but to guarantee it that it sticks and it changes the subconscious mind is to write it down. So very simple, have a pad right next to your bed. So when you wake up, you go to sleep, you go into a little habit of writing down, I eat healthy. I enjoy clean food. You can even do a little negative, um, you know, affirmation saying that, you know, junk food makes me fat, junk food makes me depressed, junk food holds me back, it makes me tired. So you're starting to slowly seep into that subconscious mind, you slowly start to change beliefs. So just give that a shot. For one week, first thing when you wake up, say a positive affirmation in the present tense, visualize a powerful emotional scene of your ideal, your ideal self, your ideal circumstances, and how you'd like to operate. And third, write that down. You know, it could be like one or two sentences right when you wake up, right when you go to sleep. And watch how much you change throughout the week. So I just gave you this for eating, okay, for nutrition, but you could also do this for other beliefs in your life. Let's say if you have um, limiting beliefs about money, you have limiting beliefs about exercise or love, whatever you feel needs to be fixed, train your subconscious mind and you'll have immense power at your disposal. Things will become effortless, I guarantee it. I've noticed it with all my clients. All my clients who do this consistently, they've had incredible progress with their eating habits, with their training, and they start using it in other areas of their life. I mean, I myself used it. You know, I was 53 pounds overweight at my heaviest, and I had no confidence, and I was just pretty hopeless, and over the years, I learned psychology, I have a master's in it, and I learned how to train my subconscious mind to get the things I want out of life because your entire life, you're programmed in a specific way. Now is the time to change your programming and get the things you want, get the things you deserve, okay? Well, I'm AJ Merzad, and if you want to learn more about training your subconscious mind, I have my book on sale on Amazon. It's called The Mind Body Solution. Pick it up. You'll love it and I would love to get your feedback on it. So that's that, I'm AJ and I'll talk to you soon.